right, Shalom, Shalom, Yashirala. Back at it again with another walk with an edifying video to the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still go out there on the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalom, Labacharyam, Wabarakim, Shayah Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashawan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And um, pretty much the name of this lesson is going to be from Proverbs, the 11th chapter. In the fourth verse, rich is prophet not. So let's go to it. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 11, verse 4. Rich is prophet not in the day of wrath. Right. So the scripture says that rich is prophet not in the day of wrath. So all these celebrities and all these um, top people, you know what I'm saying, among the Israelites, like the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you Israelite like foreigners, right? And even amongst the um those who know that they're Israelites, but sold out, man. Those riches that you obtain, man, it's not gonna profit you in in the day of the Lord's judgment. Okay? When the Lord brings judgment upon our people, man, those riches is it's, it's not gonna profit you anything, man. It's no, you know. So I'm gonna read this one more time. This is the book of Proverbs eleven verse four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivered from death, right? But righteousness, which is what? What we're doing. Starting off with the head apostles, the elders, the great millstone on down, okay? Doing the work, going out there on the highways and hedges, you know, constantly studying, reading, praying, fasting, you know? That's doing what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh tells us to do, you know? That's going to deliver us from death, man, from destruction, okay? In our daily, in our everyday lives, man, you know, the Lord could take us out. But guess what? Since we're doing the right thing, we're doing what's well pleasing unto him. He delivered us from death, man. You see? And then the ultimately, that's going to be um, the deliverance with those chariots with the so-called UFOs. When Lord Yahweh shall return, you know, when and when those missiles begin to be shot off. Okay. So this is the book of Proverbs. Next precept. This is the book of Proverbs. Um, let me see. Yep, this is the book of Proverbs 11, verse 28. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Right, yeah. Beginning with the Esau, even the so-called white man and the other heathen nations, you know, on down to the two-thirds of our own people because they trust in, they trust in riches, man. You know? So guess what? It's going to be his fall. It's going to be uh, their destruction. Okay? Because there's nothing wrong with having riches. There's nothing wrong with having money. But the way how they obtain and get the money, you see what I'm saying, is wicked. How they do certain sacrifices and do certain wicked things in order to get that money. All right? Uh, what goes on behind closed doors? I'm going to read this one more time. Proverbs 11, verse 28. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Yeah, because the love of money is the root of all evil, man. You see? And it reads, but righteous, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch, right? But the righteous shall flourish as a branch, man. They're going to increase, okay? They're going to be delivered, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, you know? That's how, that's what's going to be awaiting the righteous, which, the, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. While the two-thirds of our people and these everyday heathen nations that's over here in America is going to be destroyed by those missiles and by the chariots. What the world is going to cause UFOs. Okay, by those laser beams. So now, let's go to, a matter of fact, I, I, I mentioned First Timothy. Let me get that. The love of money is the root of all evil. This is the book of First Timothy 6, verse 10. Um, matter of fact, I started verse 9. <clears throat> first timothy 6 verse 9 but they that will be rich uh fall into temptation and they snare right you see it says but they that be rich fall into temptation and the snare a snare is a trap 
that's going into the 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 the, the rich of our people, man. You see those that sold out, that know that they're Israelites, those are celebrities and and and, and got all that, that that wealth, that riches, but they don't got the truth, man. So the, you know that that's just a temptation, that's a snare, you know. And it reads, um, and into and into many foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. You so hey, their lifestyle, man, you know that <laughs> the lifestyle of the two thirds of our people, man, you know, they had to do all type of uh homosexual acts and do all type of satanic rituals to get what they gotta go. But guess what? That's the, that's leading to their destruction. Okay, verse 10, here's the point. For the love of money is the root of all evil, right? Meaning all kinds of evil, man. For the love of money is going to lead to all kinds of evil, okay? Because you're going to do everything that you can to, to increase the money. That's what I was saying earlier just then. They had to do homosexual acts. They have to uh, sacrifice certain family members. They have to murder their kids. They have to do all type of uh, things that are against the scriptures to, to make it to the top. Which, you know, those riches really not going to profit you nothing when the day, when the day of the Lord's uh, judgment, man. Just look at DMS. Just look at all the other celebrities that had millions of dollars, and but the Lord judged them and it profited them nothing. And it says, uh, while which some coveted, after, yeah, coveted, uh, desired, or lusted, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrow. Yeah, they erred from the faith, man. They sold out, man. They fell out the truth, you know what I'm saying, just to, just to obtain some daggone riches, man. You see? But that's what the love of money will get you. That's why Lord Yahweh Shah said you can't serve the Lord and mammon, which mammon is riches. Okay? So... Let's go to the book of, uh, let me see, Salakia. So pick it up right fast. Okay, so like Let's go to the book of Mark, the eighth chapter. Okay. This is the book of Mark, chapter eight, verse, uh, matter of fact, I started verse 35, Mark eight, verse 35. This is Lord Howard Shah speaking who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? He says, For whosoever shall will save his life shall lose it. All right, so whoever whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. So if you want to uh, be somebody in this society, man, you're trying to save your life by becoming uh by becoming rich, by 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 selling out to the Esau, even the so-called white man doing what he tells you to do instead of the Lord, you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed, man. It says, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. Right? Yeah. So whosoever shall sacrifice, you know, what they had in this world, what they had going on in the world, you know, risking their lives and their freedom for you, the name of your Shai, and even losing their life, you know, they're going to save it. They're going to be, they're going to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. If they have the, uh, they have the elect, man, you see? Verse 36, for what, what shall it profit a man if he have gained the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Exactly. So what's, what's one of the things that our people give to, 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 to prove that they, uh, they're really down for the cause is their bodies, man. They had to, had to do all type of orgies and, you know, a bunch of sodomite activities, man. You see, and that's very well documented in the music industry, in the movie industry, you know what I'm saying, the wrestling business, in the wrestling industry, all these different, you know, industries that's run by these, the super elites, the, the, the international banking families, man, you know, it's, it's you have to do all types of uh, wicked things to, to, to get to the top, you know, which is going to lead to our people's destruction, so... Let's get one more. Let's go to the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter. And we're going to close it out. This is the book of Matthew 16, verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Right. So, Lord Yahweh was saying that, hey, don't put all your time and energy 
and your spirit into the, this world, man. You know, you know, just being rich. You know what I'm saying? Just living a a a, 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 a delicious lifestyle. You know, don't 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 do that, man. Because this is not our kingdom. This is not our rest. You know, it's a well one from us to a corrupt or what these break through is still right because the uh, the bank of families, man, that that's all you're doing is putting your money into the pockets of the international bank of families, you know, which controls your money anyway. You see? Verse twenty. Uh but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through is steal, right? So invest in this truth, man. You know, we're supposed to occupy in the scriptures. Like Lord Yahweh said, the word occupy means to pretty much to stay in business. Okay? You know, so that's how we lay up for ourselves, churches of heaven, by doing the work, studying, praying, being brotherly, just doing what the scripture tells us to do to the best of our abilities, you know? This is what's going to profit us in the long run. That's righteousness, which is going to deliver us from the destruction that the Lord is going to bring. So, Lord's willing, that was edifying through the Spirit. Till next time, I say, Shalom.